Incoming message. Welcome back to the Spider's Web. And we're carrying on with Star Saga and we're going to be painting another mini, as you might be able to guess. So, we have a choice of two. When I, the way I'm picking the minis is I'm going through and picking out the hero characters, or the mercenary characters rather, um, that are in the recommended for each mission as we're going along. And once I finish those, I will then go through and start doing the main, the big bosses, and then I'll go do um, the um, security guards and the lab technicians. Now we have a choice of two. Okay, we have Elise, who's a K1 assault and survival specialist, and then we have a dwarf shooting tech called Ogun Helker. Now, the dwarf has extra bits that goes with him. Um, not all of these, he has two sentry guns and two little jobbies here, which I'm hoping you can see. Yeah, which is like a force field kind of thing. Um, So we have those, and what I'm thinking of doing is instead of doing it so that um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is instead of just doing them, just patrolling and picking one, I've decided to do one. Oh, sorry, I've decided to do it so that with these and him I can spend time and do them in sort of like over the course of the same video um, as you know it may be split into two when I get doing it it probably will be so what I've decided to do here or in this video is paint Elise so this is what she looks like that's a model and that is how she looks and some information about her starting weaponry and whatnot. So I'll put those that to one side and let's get out some paints and start painting shall we. So looking at the face, looking at the skin colour, um, I'm going to go with desert yellow so I'll give that a good shake into the desert yellow while I'm shaking that I'm going to pop a little bit of dark stone in there as well so I'm giving these both a shake and the desert yellow can go on first okay most bit of a Surprise. <laughs> and then I'll just paint, uh, give this a proper shake, and then put some of this out as well. I may use a lot more of, the, of these, so I'll put quite a bit out just to be on the safe side. Okay, so let's dampen a brush. And get into it. So, want that colour. Get into it a little bit of that, just to grey it a touch. And this is going to be the base colour. 
so it doesn't have to be um, very pale. Um, there's a little bit of water there. I'm just going to take up and put in this just to water it down, make it a little bit more fluid. There we are. And we will add this to the flesh area at the mini everywhere that we think is flesh we will paint this and if we do go over anywhere else I'm not worried because as I say time and time again at the moment we're just doing base colours we're colouring in basically we're just building up the colours and putting where we want certain colours so if we do accidentally catch somewhere else it's not the end of the world we're not doing any detail work as yet now I've just noticed that we have quite a nasty looking um, McCormick's mould line going right up her arm. I'm saying her arm because it was quite a feminine mini. And there's one there. I'm going to end this up as well. Isn't it? Don't see since I've come to paint. Right, they aren't that isn't skin, so we're okay though. Um she does have um like a long sleeve thing on it. Or at least that's what I think it is. trying to work out what, what it is but the problem is with some of these minis it's difficult to see what things are so I think that's that Round up a little bit more so we can give it a little bit of a another coat. Just touch there we go. Okay, so that's it skinned up. Next we're looking at the cloak. And the cloak I think we're going to do as um This old stone. It is old stone. It's dark stone. Sorry. And we'll do this all over. We are going to wash it, um, so don't worry about it being looking a little dark. We are going to wash it, um, and once it's been washed, we can then start highlighting. So we will get pale and paler looking this time goes on program activated
we're getting about finished now with the cape. Um, just making sure it's a, an even coating. I don't want any um, watching cards. I don't want any uh, heavy areas of the paint and uh, messing up the entire job. Okay, so that's that done. And finally, I think we're going to go into one of our new colours for this part. And this colour is elf green. I'm definitely going to start picking up some. Uh, more of these um, painter paints from the store where I got these ones from each week when I get paid or each fortnight when I get paid um, because it's something I've built up my um, to call it my collection of paints which is something I need to do. Program activated. an alternative to the um, you know the crackle paints that they have um, I'm just looking to see if there's one of them looking around I can pick up and get the name from I'm not cracks it often just quickly so um, you know the ones where you put it on, you have to put it on thick and then when it dries it, it's like a um, dried earth look. Is it Martian earth or something like that? <laughs> no, they've got one. There's like a brown one and one which is like a When they did the um, Martian ones, you know, the. Oh, I can't remember what they're called. No ones that deal with the machines. Uh, when, they did, when they brought that faction out, they did one of the uh, paint 
Perfect. Um, everything with that. And uh, I can't for the life remember what it's called. I want to have a look now. Right. I found one of them. A Grellon Badland is one of the ones I thought it was. I don't think I've got the other one. Um, no, I don't think I've got the other one, but if anybody knows of any that's like this, which gives that crackle effect, then if you could let me know, I'd be grateful. And if you've used it, you could tell me if it's as good as the GW one. Um, that'll be all the better. Now anyway, we'll give that a little bit of time to dry and then we'll give it a wash. In fact I won't give it time to dry because I'm going to add something else into this which will be the rough iron. I'll just have to watch with this one. I'm going to have to get another thing of this because with this being split, with the nozzle of this being split rather, um, coming out all over the place and the actual nozzle is not sitting terribly well oh, I managed to get paint all over the drop bottle I'm just sorry I'm just cleaning the as you can see though it's coming out of the side rather than where it should be coming out of but there we are I need to sort, I need to get a replacement for that. Anywho, wet our brush, dry the ferrule, and we'll, I don't know what this is, but we'll paint it as it's metal. I'm hoping it's some form of metal. It looks like it. And so all metal, I like using this dark metallic colour underneath it and then going over with um, the actual colour. In this case it's going to be a silver colour. Um, so we we'll just keep going and make sure that everywhere is covered. That's better. So you what let's do that as well. I'm going to go going to go over everything, but I can always paint over anything that isn't metal. later on but it's just to give I'm going to go with the belt buckle as well that's that I've just noticed a little bit of the cape area that I haven't done which is this time the front of that collar When you're doing base coating, make sure that you get everywhere that you need to. It's much easier doing it that way than trying to patch up later. So as I said, we'll just give that a couple of minutes now to dry up and then we'll head into a wash which will, will be, when I can find it, where the heck are you? I can't see 
that you? No. Nope. Here we are. I'm going to be doing an all over wash with Keely Green Shade. But as I said, I want to make sure that it's all dried first. The majority of the area is dried. When I say we're doing an all over wash, I'm not doing this metal bit. Everywhere else is going to get a, a coating of this. So I'm just start off at the feet and work up because the last part we actually painted was near the top. Program activated. this a chance to dry so join me oh. stay tuned and we'll carry on painting just as soon as this dries okay so the wash has dried and one thing we had forgotten, I used the um, Keeley Green Shed, but what I'd actually forgotten is I had the Green Tone from uh, Heavy Painter, so yeah, never mind. <coughs> what are we doing next? Oh yes, I know. <laughs> we are <laughs> taking some of this darker colour sorry skin colour that we mixed earlier and we're going to basically dry brush it over what's there now at least it's supposed to be a dry brush let's put it that way I think what I'm going to have to do for this for a dry brush is bring out Ta -ta -ta. Yeah, bring out um, CD palette. doesn't seem to be achieving much at the moment it's not doing what I was hoping it would do oh well never mind um, well as it stands I'm just looking for green to be disguised somewhat we're not looking for 
strong coverage or anything at the moment and at the moment it does look as though the um, green is getting disguised enough there we are next you can go away I've had enough of you <laughs> Now then, what are we doing next? The cloak, I think. So we need to dampen our brush. And we'll go back into the cloak, which is the, um, if you remember, um, it's the dark stone. And we're going to do exactly the same as we did when we did the cloak for Wrath and this is going to go everywhere where there is a, a crease and it's going on the upper most area of the crease program activated Getting near the end of this now, I've um, got most of it covered where we need it going. Just a few areas that we just need to give a little attention to, um, and then once that's once we've taken care of those places, then basically. were sorted now there we are that looks I think like everywhere I could do is done Um, just a little bit down here. And down here. And there we go. That's that done for the cape. 